Hello, and welcome to part six in Slices. I'm Jim. And I'm Sam. And we're here. We're near the very end of JoJo part six penulti- anime penultimate, penultimate there you arc. Go. I was to cut you off. Um, so I think we should start more episodes with cold open. So here's my, my idea for a cold open. So um, I'm on a sea moon diet. Shut I up. see moons and I it's eat a bit, them. not a not a fucking <laughs> cold open. Um, what was the other one? Uh, I see moon these nuts. I don't know. Oh no, it was gravity dragon these nuts across uh, southern Florida. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right, so we're talking about the episodes thirty. That's why you shouldn't do the intros anymore for these? Because you go thirty three through thirty five, which is basically the sea moon yes. arc, gravity of the new moon, and then sea moon one and two. So, what did you think, Sam? Uh, pretty good. I really like this. I don't know if I'm just high on life right now or if I'm high off rum right now, but I'm really enjoying part six the third more batch. than I ever have. Third I would batch. say the, the third batch. I, I'm feeling extremely high right now on part six. I like this arc a lot, I think it's great. And really seeing Jotaro come back in, I knew it was coming, yeah, but it just got me. It, it made me, as the young kids say, pop off. You pogged. I pogged. <laughs> I I raffle coptered. I shut up. You could even say oh that I Z O M G'd. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna kill you at right. this episode. This is bad. You won't make it to the next one. You're doing this. This is you. <laughs> so thank you all for joining us today. That will be the entire episode. <laughs> uh no, so yeah. Siri play roundabout. <laughs> <laughs> so I know um the first of these episodes probably my least favorite. Um, I don't care. Like, I guess it was kind of funny having the scene with uh, Anna Sui. So all our gang is driving in a car to get to Cape Canaveral. Yes. We have 36 hour t- timeline, which wouldn't be the first time that Iraqi just completely yeah. abandoned the timeline. <laughs> Too soon still. <laughs> and, and, and also just like Poochie, like, okay, I have to wait till this time timer to go down. So I better get there a day and a half and just camp. Yeah, there's also kind of the so the scene where the guy lets him like go 15 minutes early through like the Tory line is really funny to me because like ultimately like even Poochie says like I'm not really in a rush right now like and Poochie that is it's unimportant how quick he goes through this line so it's really funny that that scene exists and I don't because uh, okay so I knew he his stand does evolve because as we see it does like become the gravity or inside out power. It's more so inside out than it is gravity they refer to, ex- except when the entire like tri state area is like in a gravity <laughs> well. Area. So I think that this is just basically gravity reversing. It doesn't make any sense. Cause, like, Don't think about it. Because Poochie Stan is just doing this automatically. And like, I feel like Poochie doesn't even know the shit's happening at first until he just always, until like. Well, that's kind of the cool like reveal of it. Like, so he's in line and like. I guess the justification is later on, like, the closer he gets... So he's really being affected by gravity. That's he's the like, center of gravity. The, yeah, like, well, before that even, like, gravity is, like, the most important thing. And that's not even, like, the whole stand metaphor of, like, oh, stand users gravitate towards each other. This is, like, literal gravity. And yeah. the reason why Sea Moon even happens is because he's in the place on Earth that is the least... Uh, has the least amount of gravity pulling on him, the equator. Yeah. Cape Canaveral. Yes. Also, which is interesting. That's what makes the stand of all. But it also is just the stand force thing of like, oh yeah, he's nearby. I know. I'm just like, <laughs> it's convenience. They just have this feeling, Sam. They just feel it's, the mitochondria are, are a force is big with them, and they just like totally know. Imagine how helpful that would have been during the Who Shot Johnny Joe star. Well, there's that, arc. <laughs> and I think when we were watching that, I'm like, imagine how useful it is to find Dio because he has Jonathan's body. Just like, oh yeah, he's fucking the he's right down the road right there. Like we just feel him just right down. Yeah. Him. Well, once they get to Egypt, it's kind of like. They find him. Still, well, not, I mean, well, Cairo, they, well, they I mean, have Cairo. to they have to hire a local homeless man. Is also that doubles as a rich man because he has a car and, and he finds Dio's house and then gets killed by pet shop. I forgot all about that part. <laughs> yeah, they find they find the homeless, <laughs> the fake homeless man. I forgot all about that part. Um, so That's why we need to get back on part three? <laughs> yeah, we do. So I really um I I really like the idea. I like it makes sense in in like this arc about how. Really, Poochie just needs to get to like the perfect place where gravity hits him, right? <laughs> you find like, the X on the on the map. Literally, like it's about like positioning, which is really funny to me. And there's also like one last thing of uh, Lol and Asui with the ring scene thrown into the gate. That part is funny. Still, it's just like man, everything's super serious right now. It's, 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 here's a comedy moment, and it's done. 
it is also i have one more joke about poochie uh poochie's looking for the g spot which is the gravity spot uh he's flying around looking for that perfect gravity spot i, I thought you'd go more of a simpsons poochie joke oh no <laughs> well he is also trying to return to his home world <laughs> his home planet. which is italy <laughs> he died on his way home. i guess technically he's american but like he has he loves, he loves italy he loves egypt yeah he's related to the pope yeah he or no, not, or was not, he was he, yeah. or, well pope is still a clergyman technically right I would say he's the clergyman. <laughs> okay, so technically, same thing. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, but okay. So in the past, I've I've hated Anna Sui, as have we all, and I feel like I kind of get it now with this I, scene. I like, still hate him. I I do, and like I understand. So early on in the series, I was like, guys, what the hell? How does anyone like Anna Sui? And so many of the comments were like, oh, because he's like a loser, and we like making fun of him. And I was like. Term. Okay. Okay. There is people making fun of it. There's so many people who fucking love them and ship him and Jolene together. They, those are the, those, those are people the, are maniacs. Yeah. Those are the people I don't get. Those I, people I are understand maniacs. people who understand. It's like Joshi, where he's a fucking loser in a different ways. Where Joshi looks like a fucking loser as yeah. well. Where and so he still looks like a fucking supermodel that also murdered his wife and her lover. It's true. But I also like the the scene is really funny to me because like it literally starts with Hermes going. Whoa! Look at those big fucking alligators. It's also, I'm not sure when that that one like pre chapter image comes up, but where like it has like the little graph and it's just like Jolene just met Anisby. Anisby wants to marry her. Oh, th- this might that might be around here. Oh no, maybe it was earlier. Probably earlier because I think weather was still in there. It must have been if he just met him. That was probably somewhere in the uh, Yo Yo Ma or Dragon yeah, Dream. Yeah, I believe so. So that is really funny because um it is the most complicated infograph you could have ever created <laughs> but yeah and then we guess we get the gravity whole thing and we get Hermes gets like later i gotta go do other shit i'm too op for this fight well it's funny because i forgot and you and i guess you did too but you were like why is like why did rocky do this did he just is she like too op <laughs> but later on we find out why he did he did this for a very specific Either, reason it could be a and b honestly where like we have a way to bring her back he definitely okay he he definitely like was planning this because having the stuff smacked together where it, that can just pull someone to poochie is a little bit broken yeah, it, it is. It, it makes the fight better without her. And I also like Anasui in this fight is like more interesting than Hermes because Hermes did kind of have the uh, the last two. She was kind of involved in, the, in like in well, for actually the last three because for uh, Versace, Under the Green. snails, and uh, the other one before that, uh, she, fly sky high. Yeah, so she, maybe shifting, giving Anasui a bone here. Give him. A t- his, give him a scrap. His boat is him put putting around on his stand. Yeah, but the part where he like sneaks up on Poochie's pretty cool. I like that part. Yeah, cosmetic surgeon and a sweet. I want uh, him to do that thing where he re- rearranges someone's face, but just to a random. You can civilian. literally do that to anybody in like. He made someone else look exactly like him. Hair color, hair length. Maybe he it was... It was a bald man. He did it too. <laughs> Maybe it was a girl. Maybe the first appearance of Anasui was just him, but he was like, you like, know what? I'm just going to alter my bone structure today. He'd be like, oh, look, Jolene's fine. I just turned his other prisoner into look like Foo Fighters. It's clearly the same thing. I turned Gwes into Foo Fighters. <laughs> look, look, guys, Foo Fighters is back. I'm Gwes. What the fuck did you do to me? <laughs> Why are my boobs bigger? <laughs> <laughs> oh... Um, yeah, he has like a grow hair. It's very funny. But yeah. He's like he pulls the hair out of the socket. So, so like he's also just like like a shapeshifter or a person that can shapeshift people into other people. Extremely strong. Extremely very painful. Strong. It, it was a dead body, but it's extremely painful. If we did it to somebody because it's rearranging our bone structure. Yeah, well, but, it's a dead. Yeah, it's a dead man, so he doesn't feel it. But yeah, so we get a. Uh, we basically the the whole thing happened in front of the uh, the. It gets a space center, the not Kennedy Space Center. Cough, cough. They do say Kennedy. They say Kennedy they Space say Center. In subtitles the... don't. They just say space center in the subtitles. This is very yeah. Funny. Why like, is that like a? It's it's like a <laughs> trademark. It's a building. It's like named a... <laughs> after a dead president. <laughs> I guess so. so. Damn, damn. Too soon, Sam. Too soon. Yeah. Jeez, fucking Christ. Sorry, sorry, J. O. J. F. K. <laughs> damn, he's. <laughs> <laughs> fucking that power goes jackie straight. o is in the room sam that power goes straight to his head Oops. did you see this is also another tiktok meme uh, um, no i didn't see if you say tiktok meme you know i did not see this <laughs> there is like this really rampant tiktok meme about jackie kennedy or jackie o being like insatiable for eating like sheet metal and like it was i can't explain it like there were so many things where it's like this is a picture of jfk jackie's not here because she's eating 15 pounds of sheet metal in the background the fuck <laughs> 
she wasn't going for his brain trying to eat the metal off the trunk of the car or something like <laughs> no. that, that would be the thing as well. no i don't know i don't understand where the <laughs> meme comes from it's just a funny joke <laughs> interesting it was that and then it was uh margaret thatcher being the throat goat i don't know if you heard about that one <laughs> interesting the throat <laughs> goat <laughs> I, I i this is why i avoid tumblr or not tumblr you i do avoid, avoid i do avoid tumblr i avoid tiktok hey, tiktok Same is thing. a lot of fun you love tiktok tiktok is just like fucking video tumblr <laughs> once you get on the horny anime cosplay side you would love tiktok <laughs> i have that on like twitter and shit. it's better though but uh so back where i left off so yeah so everything shit's like accelerating and they're trying to clip the poochie everything they have to go up and also conceptually i really like the idea that like the, the there's a moment where the camera kind of shifts because the whole time they're in the car scene it's like just normal but then we have a moment where like the camera shifts and it's like okay actually they're driving up like a, a sheer cliff face like funny that emporios cool. are driver for everything and he has little like clogs on to help him reach he the, has uh... literal like blocks that they tied to his fucking <laughs> shoes it's like those very long sandals you see in like japanese culture. <laughs> yeah. all i could think about was there had to be a scene where like he like sat he down on the s- ground and tied twine around his shoes. To- a cute, adorable scene like Jolene like tying the rope around Aww, or that'd something. Be, that'd be cute. But because he's like, I never learned how to tie my shoes. I I grew up in a prison. <laughs> I had Velcro. I just wear these cleats all day. It's spiky cleats, anything are possible. <laughs> hey, he should have used those spiky cleats to walk right up the wall. To fall right into fucking Poochie's eyeball. <laughs> so yeah, we had some fun stuff with the car, st- and they climbed the guardrail. <laughs> ha ha, guardrails. Ha, yeah, that's, you can't you can't say that around a JoJo fan. Flap their knees, laugh at triggering. it. I understand that reference. Yeah, I also just like uh, I, I like the scene where Jolene is like sad that Hermes f- falls, yeah. and then Anna is the one that's like, "Yo, Jolene." I'm sure she's fine. If she's alive, she'll come to us. But it, honestly, like he didn't know, and like it's good. It's good that he told Jolene to keep moving on because that's the whole if point. Inner monologue, like yeah, that bitch is fucking dead or splashed. Oh, she's she's a brown stain somewhere. She's a small brown stain in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> like there's no way she conveniently found this feedback on foundation. Red or red mist. She found some foundation that has a harpoon ready to go. There's no way. <laughs> I love the idea of like the one speedwagon foundation guy's like, well, I brought my harpoon into work today. <laughs> it's like, wait a second. <laughs> wait a minute. Johnson, we can use that. <laughs> Get that matter right. <laughs> it's also very funny to see like a, like the military response. I love this part. Yeah. Or you just see like, yeah, a tank flipped over. Like, what the <laughs> fuck do you mean a tank flipped <laughs> like, over? What do you mean? <laughs> it's just Florida things. <laughs> yeah. It's funny that like he he probably has dealt with that before like a, a tank being flipped i like i i think i've mentioned the gym like, i'm like there's no way there is a special division that has to deal with st- i'm like there's no way the government does not know about stands at all in some form or another just, like, even maybe the speedbound foundation is just a, like, a branch off of the military to deal with stand shit but i feel like the, st- the speedbound foundation should have a group that specializes in taking out very dangerous single stand users that are going to you know, maybe. Oh, you think so? You would think not just send Polen off after the boss, the mysterious mafia boss. It seems like they're a private organization, but it's funny because in part eight we get like a little glimpse at where they're kind of like that. Well, it seems like they might be because they might actually be a governmental association yes. in part in part uh, at least ca- the part seven universe. Yes, because even in part seven universe, they had the government go after the the the, the body of Christ at the end, they, or even in part eight as well. They mentioned that they went to go get go to japan to go get the uh the, the parts of jesus mm, and then lucy Steele went to she had like the little briefcase but that's all i guess that's really all we have so maybe i'm a little off base but like, it doesn't seem like they are governmental it's funny because in part two it kind of looked like they were trying to draw like the pentagon like the idea was like oh we're keeping uh was it santana we're keeping santana in the pentagon they, they kept in mexico though Wait, uh, 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 didn't they keep after they... No, they they did get him in the sunlight that stone to stone him again yeah and they kept him. They keep him in like a tube that just constant like uh, Santana. I get. I, I, I'm free. The world ends. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like days later after like all the electricity went out too. Maybe months because I would assume the speedwagon foundation would, would be have, underground like, probably too, just for fail safe. Yeah. Like that's very funny. It's like Santana. Why was he not in the George Joe Star? <laughs> True. Why didn't Jorno fight Santana? Why were under thirty six Santanas on Mercury? <laughs> Uh, all right. But yeah, so we, we I like the cool setting of the fight still, like on like the ticket booth, like on the side and everything. And it's great. Seamoon, I really like Seamoon actually. I think 
I never really saw like sea like, moves like the full design really. Like, you see like the arrow buckle on like bu- buckle. Yeah, on. we actually get a lot of shots because I didn't remember had, like all the little yeah. design quirks about him yeah, either. Fusion. I didn't really never notice like the the, the writing that's on White Snake. On yeah. There. I I I still I still don't like the face too much. I feel, but because he talks a lot still through him, I feel like. Yeah, his, he his should have the White mouth. Snake still talking mouth to so he can shit talk more. I do like the White Snake. White Snake. I like the White Snake's mouth does move. But Sam, I don't know if you noticed, but I do see Moon and I eat it. I'm on a Sea Moon diet. Moon Every time pies. I see Moon, I eat it. And when you sit there, I make a Moon pass and just like <laughs> walk off. <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, if I see a Moon pie in a store, I just think of that old yeah, man coming that out. That one joke, that one Simpson joke. That's and awesome. For some the jokes reason, are. for some reason, that joke also exists in my brain forever. <laughs> Uh, like, 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 see, a like a fucking ar- army ad if you're like Nevon Net Neon, join the Navy <laughs> yes. backwards. I love that. Like just stupid Simpson jokes out that are just make you laugh at just one this one little thing to set off. And it's like SpongeBob references yeah. to set you off. Some of those old Simpson jokes are so expertly constructed too that they're my favorite things ever. Like the whole fucking uh, we're not we're not gonna stay on this too longer. But I love the fucking um, uh, Planet of the Apes musical. That is the, my favorite Simpsons joke ever. It's one of my favorite jokes ever. They <laughs> top ten Jim, top five Jim jokes. Go, your favorite jokes of all time. What's number? <laughs> all right, Simpsons. Uh, <laughs> you made a monkey out of me joke. Very funny. Um, Pickle Rick. <laughs> Pickle Rick up there. Uh, the all the every incest joke in Rick and Morty. That's also number three. I love those. Can't get enough. Um, the scene where Jolene. Um, turns her boobs into snail shells that's the, up there the the, uh, the the yandere chick from komi is hilarious i love her you laugh every time character. you see her and then every single second of nagatoro i just <laughs> tears streaming out of my eyes i'm laughing so hard <laughs> no god help you all right that's, there you go that's that was a right really good bet i'm glad we spent so much time doing that not <laughs> the first time we wasted um, time on a great bit. So I love this scene. Uh, the part when Jolene is like fist fighting Simon was yes. so unlike any other JoJo scene. The way it was animated, it actually felt like a fight. <laughs> it didn't just feel like a big punch and then like then stop st- and thinking and thinking yeah. and talking and Jolene had to like maneuver and it was cool. Like that's one thing I love about Jolene. I've I've become a Jolene stan in these past few episodes. Oh no! Unfortunately, I hate to say put him down. All right, <laughs> <laughs> Sam's pulling out a gun. Um. <laughs> She is, it's cool, like, Stone Free is really cool, and yes. normally the stand just does all the fighting, but Jolene is, like, one with Stone Free so much of the time, and having her, like, get involved in, like, the actual, like, punching and dodging, it makes it feel like she's so much more, like, I don't know, in it. Like, she's well, really in it. I think it helps to have a punch stand to go against for this, because yeah. having Sea Moon now just be, like, you, he has to land a punch now to actually do the inside out. And I think that benefits a lot to have with the CQC shit. Yeah. Where, like, you know... It's really... The stakes are really good. And that's why, like, so many... I think part eight stands are like this, too, where contact is the main thing, and it makes the it makes it more tense, because it's, like, you know the moment you're hit. Like, and shit's even, gonna have to Even Gabby got some CQC in there with, like, the Apex twins. It's true. And that shit was great. Yeah. That was the best part of that stupid yeah, I thought I was excited to see that much. animated. That's gonna be awesomely animated CQC. If they do half as cool as this, I'll be up for it. Because, yeah, there are some really cool, like, like fucking hand to hand comment with him flying around like the the ticket like the booth they're on yeah it's it's really cool to see Simon like zipping around and it's like his element like jolene is at a huge dis- disadvantage here it's fucking cool and then yeah jolene gets her hand inside out which looks gross as hell that looked great also also i think she gets like hitting the leg and she's like hitting the leg again like oh no you fixed it you re- reversed the inside out inside out so it's like double inside <laughs> out backfire um, it's very funny but yeah, so I mean, there's just also, kind of a lot of like. Seamoon has like eight, like eight, twenty pack of abs. I was said ribs. Ribs. <laughs> uh, it's it's cool. It's really cool. There's just a lot of cool punching and uh, kicking and shit. But yeah, uh, let me see. And then that, that's basically the end of that episode. There's no, there's no. Uh, on the wiki doesn't have the uh, differences for this arc. It seems. Is this when um, Poochie? Oh, so yeah, she also knows notices that Poochie is like nearby, which. Most fights, Poochie is just literally like sitting in like a shadowy room, like nearby, which yeah. is really funny to me. It's very similar, like the boss in like the clo- in, like right the uh in, like the clock tower or whatever, 
where he's just like he's he's just in the shadows. You don't see his oh, face. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, He just could be one with the shadows. Uh huh. But yeah, it's really it's really funny. Like, oh no, this is too. This is not a remote stand. You have to be nearby. He's always watching. He didn't take his little disc out of his eyes. He put him back in. <laughs> what if he dropped one and he just never found like it? Like a contact lens. <laughs> like the worst contact lens ever. He dropped my eye. What if he had to put them back on like contact lenses? Oh, that'd be <laughs> awesome. Very funny. Like that and like like Gappy also when he hits hits people with the eyes, they literally just deflate like a balloon. Yeah, it's disgusting. They like pop and then he just well, also the one woman i always think about this the one woman at the beginning that he dehydrates like oh my god they didn't her, leak her, her pores like open up like 10 times it's their like, size and just water starts shooting out test things happen to you you just don't notice like the water leaking out and your clothes are probably drenched <laughs> it's horrific and she's just like damn i'm thirsty <laughs> like, I, could, I could really use a drink it's very it's very funny to think about some of that shit, which I really wish Gappy went more with that. With his bubble. I wish he enhanced more people's pores. Instead of just using bubbles for bubbles. Yeah, they just became bubbles. Bubble shields. So, but yeah, um, I had one more thing I wanted to see. Uh, I can't remember. Can't but remember. Poochie's great here. I love how Poochie just can walk anywhere he wants. It's really cool. It makes like all these fights or in- encounters really interesting. It's funny that Poochie just walk on walls and everything. Yeah. It's very funny. But yeah, so we get um yeah, more basically more of the fight happens like and that's when Jolene reve- uh, reveals the uh the Mobius strip or no I think it was after because she gets no, she's more fighting going on she gets hit and Poochie's like oh yeah beat her thank God you will and- see yeah there's a big thing I the one thing that I think kind of drags is like there's a part where they pin they use Anisui's weight or Anisui as a counterweight. And Jolene's holding that's, on. That's right. I for, for some reason I forgot about that. You know, like the majority of like, the the one scenario. It is literally the majority of the fight. And yeah, so they they're basically like strangling Sea Moon, and there's this whole thing of like I need to finish strangling him before the the rope breaks. Essentially, yeah. And it's like it just goes on a little too long compared to the pacing of like the earlier fights. It's very funny. I'm like, man, Poochie's just in the shadow going, ah, 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 <laughs> yeah. like just choking. <laughs> it is funny though, because like the whole thing is he he has to like touch her her uh, one of her strings to like make it happen and it's wrapped around his neck like is it not easier when to just choke, touch your neck see, Jim, when you start getting strangled or choked you can, you cannot physically reach your hands over there it's like <laughs> your body doesn't let you if movies have taught me anything that's one of the things <laughs> um but yeah so he, he strangely touches like where the rope is like hanging off of him rather than touching his neck whatever Maybe if he touches himself, we'll go inside out. As, as, as we talked about, why that Pucci is, is a very incompetent villain. He is, and yeah, I want to talk about that a little later because we we had a whole discussion about how he kind of is like extremely incompetent because like <laughs> he Jolene fumbles, he fumbles his way to victory. He does, and Jolene is like also I would say Jolene's more of an underdog, but Jolene has like incredible brain blast moments of the ways that she can like use her power and it's yeah. really cool i mean she may get close to him but unfortunately he has a fucking bubble shield on him that just like deflects punches if jolene didn't have such like a fucking 150 iq poochie would have won fucking, so many times 19 year old probably dropped out of high school with the prison knowledge i guess the books in prison are <laughs> the, fucking insane how much time was she in prison a few months right Prob- not, probably a month or t- two three months maybe i think it might have been i can't probably remember. two three months she learned a lot about ropes and strings and that A lot time. of books in the library that yeah. she, like, had to bully her way to get, I guess. She feeding people pennies. After she fucking had to deal with an orgasm stand. That's true. <laughs> orgasm stand. Uh, if bad. only we saw... If only that would have been animated. If only Bad Romance OVA comes in. I forgot it was called Bad Romance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Give me that. I would, I would want to see that OVA. In the art style. Yeah, and I love that art style. <laughs> And it's so funny how everyone was up for about that. It was like a whole scandal. I it guess that's what happens when there's no JoJo manga coming so, out. It was so funny. It was like very good. It was very entertaining. It was really funny. And I mean, Jolene is like a sexual character. Give me one of these weird prison adventures that I like so much. And seeing like Poochie being like, you know, maybe it's bad Roman was a fucking mistake. <laughs> yeah, very funny. What, what's it called? About... Like, it's like redacted or something. The whole yeah. joke is that it's like he's not like... even <laughs> worth bringing up. He's like, I'm not going to fucking talk about this anymore to anybody. <laughs> not even to Dio. If I could he took it to his grave, but uh, yeah, a lot yeah. of strangling, a lot of rope breaking, uh, punches get deflected, and then so yeah, Poochie wins this by being like, Oh, wait, I can just like make Jolene float and punch her really hard in the heart, <laughs> which he does, yes. But and then he goes, Yeah, I did. I want to walk away now. Everybody's sad. Yeah, we and... see Jolene's heart like explode from like the back, it's kind of crazy, and that nah, is not, she's fine. That was and then sad. she like crumples up, and everyone's like, No. And then it, it, literally before we can even see her corpse float away, 
uh, Empiro gets like a paragraph long text message from Jotaro with his symbol on his like nineteen <laughs> on his like early like night or no, early two thousand cell phone or late nineties. He like phone. hacked it so that the first thing that showed up was his fucking emoji. First off, you yeah, there's no way you would have like your emblem be like on that kind of phone, no matter like what. I love the idea of. Then being like, all right, Jodo, are you guys ready to jump in the battle? He's like, wait, hold on. I have to finish texting Emporio. I remember being like, wait, I never learned how to read. <laughs> like, That's why they had to voice it over. It was very funny. They kept, I do like they kept it in English, though. Yeah, they did. I actually like that. But uh, yeah. It's just but, hilariously long. Like wait, about Jolene's not dead. Don't worry. Yeah. And, like, and like, Emporio's like, yeah, Jolene's alive. Just go get Jolene. And, and like, as we like, I'm going to go kill Poochie because that's the way to ensure that Jolene lives. Which is, this part's cool. I like. So I really like how like terrified Pucci is here. He's like, he at first he's like, ah, oh, I did it, and then he's running. He's like, oh shit, that Jolene girl is still alive. Is the service in the force, and somehow she ended up where <laughs> yeah. I'm going exactly. And also he's like, is it the Joe Star bloodline? Is it this freaking bloodline going to kill me? <laughs> but yeah, uh, what's it called? Yeah. So a lot, a lot of stuff happens. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff happens, and like, that's it. I mean, go to the next episode where um. What's it called? It's when like he has a jump scare with Anna Sui, who's like pretending to be somebody else. Yeah, that part's or he, he disguises a dead body that part's really as cool. somebody else. And... I like the little like music sting that plays. There's like a cool little guitar. Yes. Uh, I only saw, I only noticed that because we, we we watched that scene like three times because I uh noticed that Pucci's hair was like hilarious. Yeah, I brought it up. I was, like, I was like, Jim, how do you think his hair works? Like, what do you mean? I'm like, look, there's no, and there's like no neck hair that goes to where his hair loops are. He has like. Jim thought it was cornrows, but I'm like, it looks like someone raked his hair. Like, yeah, it looks like it's it's crazy. <laughs> I would love, to, I would absolutely love to see a real life Poochie hair in real life and touch it, literally and impossible. feel it, and, and it's, it's like really the, uh, get in there and examine it. It's like the Norman Osborn comic book hair. We're like, how? What the fuck is his hair? Where you want to see it on like real life and not really know how? Oh it my works. god, I know exactly what you're talking about. The weird like smooth cornrows yeah. on a white man. <laughs> Like, where it's, so it, they're cornrows, but they're also just no, like, in between the, the hairs. Yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't make any... It's like he braided... He slicked it back and then braided the slicked back hair or but something. It's too iconic for them to change the design. <laughs> I need to look at that right now. But, like, yeah. So, yeah. And also, Jolene does white woman jump scares on Poochie by, like, grabbing his leg and everything. This part is so cool. I love... This feels like... Jolene is like master her stand. That's like the feeling I get here. Like she's able to instill fear in Poochie because she's so powerful. Not master, but Mobius her stand. She Mobius her stand. Mobius her, she morbed all over them. She morbed inside. Oh, this joke is so fucking funny. It's an epic meme. But uh, yeah, she she makes the the thing that Araki looked like researched for like one day and decided to put in a JoJo, which is a Mobius a Mobius strip. Yes, which, which is, like, is super cool. And this is like why she's so. Uh, clever it's like the whole idea oh it's inverting things oh but you can't invert something that's already like just one-sided that doesn't make sense and then the part when he keeps punching her and she makes more of them it just looks super cool yeah, good the, cg the movie st- uh, ships look good too surprisingly i kind of wish she kept the one in the neck instead of just reforming her head completely yeah that part was a little it made it feel it, like she could just like instantly stop it all i only had enough budget for like those two to keep going but something that's so cool about this is like Jolene is holding it together, but she's like breathing really heavy and like she's taking a toll here, but she's still like holding her own against Poochie. But unfortunately, Poochie finds the ultimate power, which is gun from a guard and shoots his Jolene. Guns are so good in this, except they're not really like they don't really they've never actually worked. Give a but. stand user a gun and who who fucking benefits the most and why is it? <laughs> <laughs> she turns you so small and just blows you away with one bullet. The, the tiny gun. She turns you into like a puff of red mist. <laughs> oh my god, it'd be great. No. Uh, so, but, but yeah, so, and that's when Jotaro comes in with a time stop, which is part the, fucking the, rule. The, the star Cloud in the world still sound effects still great slash you know slash the world sound effect and. uh Jotaro still has his bullshit time limit, Dragon Ball Z time limit. Which is actually, I think it's like close to like 30 seconds. Because he's like, my max is five seconds. And he set, and he's like, does that everything in like two seconds, despite spending like 30 seconds in here. Just, it's dynamic time. The fact that he like chooses to walk slowly is so fucking funny. But the actual scene, so like, the part when he like saves her, it's so fucking cool. It's just I thought like, he would like punch the bullets out of there instead of just dragging her away. I feel like he could have been like, Ora, and it'll be good. Catches them but all. But you do hear the Jotaro theme again, which is great. Still, awesome. Still probably one of the best themes. It's in, so iconic. Like that and the like Jorno theme is probably the most iconic fight themes in the JoJo. Yeah, the Jorno theme is really, really good. 
I don't really have any opinions about the Jolene theme, honestly. See, as I said, they're hit them. I like. I give Josuke's okay. I probably rank like. I couldn't even tell you what that one sounds I, like. I, I I still remember. I'm not gonna fucking sing it for you. But <laughs> Do it. No, um, it's probably Jorno, Jotaro, Josuke, Jolene. The four battle themes, I think. But okay. uh, that's just I just didn't say. All right, someone write that You're down. You're taking a big gulp. <laughs> <laughs> Bucci also just lights fucking place on fire, which is very funny. To draw Jolene oh, out. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. But yeah, he does that. But yeah, what's it called? He shows up, there's a harpoon there. Like, what the fuck is there a harpoon here for? And that's when... Okay, yeah, Jotaro also punches uh, Pucci out of the door. We see Hermes arrives via harpoon because that's how the uh, Spion Foundation shot a harpoon that they calculated that would land in there despite the gravity being fucky unless they incorporated the gravity being fucky in there um so she says uh hermy says something about how she like broke it to pieces so i don't know i don't know exactly like i i can't explain the science behind this sam but go find the guy that does the stand science videos <laughs> I don't, no i'm good it's um, shuck. <laughs> it's shuck. I, I, think, I think shuck i don't know if you're there's probably other a bunch of other channels too that probably try to break down stands yeah the the the, the stand si- science or probably, probably it's gonna be the next or the next branch of fucking game theory is fucking like stand science <laughs> after he does like oh my god didn't he fucking do a, what does a liar taste like theory or, he probably did it was it's fucking terrible <laughs> Hey gamers, it's me, Matt Pat. Is that Matt Pat sounds like a smoker. He's twenty five. <laughs> this is him in day. forty years. <laughs> when he's when an old man. Me, when it, when five nights scares him too much. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, and uh, we some really great shot of like it's like Poochie's like in the air because he's like oh because you guys told me this this just now that I could fly myself to find a spot instead of waiting for the new moon. Peace, you guys fucking suck. And the Jitter stops time because, uh, what's it called? They're shooting. <laughs> he tells Hermes, <laughs> hey, Hermes, kill this man Shoot with a gun. gun. <laughs> and then he's like, she's like, bet. And then, <laughs> and then yeah, he throws a, a harpoon at him. Unfortunately, he does the thing, from, the one cool scene from, uh, from uh, what's it called? Justice League, which is the, when the Superman looks at Flash and time stop. That part was cool. Also, also Jotaro, this, wait, is, what jo- yeah, this Jotaro, is what Jotaro does with the Jotaro, But Jotaro, Jotaro pretended he did that, remember? Remember, I mean, Dio thought time he had a string attached. So the thing that made him move was the string attachment to Dio. So it made it look like he was moving and stopped time. Which made what? Dio... I don't remember that. Yes, that's literally what happened. What? Yeah, I don't remember that at all. He that's literally, so that's literally how he funny. how he goofed him was like he made him think that he could move in time, which made Dio go on the defensive. Like I'm not going to attack him, but I'm fucking pretty sure he's <laughs> planning something. I don't remember that. But yeah, but Jotaro does the eye thing. Like that is like a. Yeah, he har- and he harpoons, and then it uh, goes on. I guess, like, I'm pretty sure it rips off D- uh, Poochie's ear, in the- but like it only like, yeah, cuts they don't away. really show that. It cuts away because they don't want e- e- ear ear gore. Ear gore, I guess. Yeah, despite we saw like, uh, they've versus- done some versus gore. Pickup. I don't remember them taking his ear off in the. I don't know. Look like it. that's what it probably. I don't know. We didn't. I don't have the differences. You're on You're probably here. right. But I mean, we saw versus pick up Emporio by the ear alone, like lifting him off the ground by the ear. Which I'm like, you don't. Not that was ear gore. That was ear gore. <laughs> this boy should not have an ear. But yeah, so Pucci, uh, basically dodged. He's like, I did it. I found the exact latitude and longitude. He found the G spot. He found the G spot and started rainbow glowing. And he's gonna fucking morb out so hard. He's also know. in the um space shuttle. He did, he did a space shuttle because which is really cool. I like thematic. that. Thematic, but yeah. Um, oh, also throughout this episode, we definitely saw some very shots that we could definitely tell were probably those. Uh, like we saw Grand Gorilla's name in the yeah. The so I course. think there was one shot in particular. Uh, I need to just like find out exactly. I'm sure there's probably. I'm on pretty a sure they put it on somewhere. their Twitter about yeah. which scenes they did. But there is a few shots where I was like, oh wow, that looks a lot like <laughs> how Grand Gorilla has drawn uh, part six characters. And they look really good. And yeah, there was a few other names, too, that were in English. Or at least... I saw coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. It, it, but yeah, these are some it's very so cool. solid episodes with some solid action. Like, shit looked good. Except for Jim saw his uh, his wall texture three <gasps> yes. times. Yes. Oh, thank you for saying that. Okay, I did. I said I would do something. So uh, on our Discord, uh, join the Discord, one of our uh, faithful commenters... Actually, I have no idea who this is. Discorders. One of the Discordians. Some Joe Cox. <laughs> the Joe Cox. Uh, hold on, wait. Is it in the Crusading Through Part Three? Okay. No, I don't think it's <laughs> What the fuck? Where is it? Not in the Crusading Through Part Three one. I think it's in the, it may be in the Joe Cox chat. 
<laughs> uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to find it. Okay, here we go. So someone was like, hey, uh, what is what is Jim always complaining about? What is that texture? Um, and then I posted it. And uh, <laughs> someone else uh, f- started seeing it everywhere. Uh, they're EU goth. Um, so it's it's literally everywhere. It's in so many fucking episodes. She <laughs> gets so upset. And if you're not familiar with what it is, it's like a bunch of lines. So it's it's three rows of of lines. Each row is longer than the next. And then there's like this squiggle and like a weird like exclamation point. It's really hard to explain. It's just a texture that they add everywhere. It's not even a texture. It's just like some line art that they smack everywhere. So then I said, "All right, guys." I'm, I've start, I'm offering a bounty. Whoever can find this, if this did exist in JoJo before, because I presume that it probably just... Part six or something. It w- maybe it was just something in the background that they oh, just... Oh, of like a different part animated? No, of, oh. of uh, the manga. Oh, okay. I assume that it might have just existed in the manga somewhere. So I said, all right, I will I will shout you out. Uh, and I will also call you based and a great... Hashtag great guy TM. So unfortunately, it's not exact, but we did find a very, very similar version of it. Um, this is by Megalus. So shout out Megalus. You are hashtag base and also hashtag a great guy TM. I'm going to show <laughs> Sam right now. I have it up. Okay. Um, it is on, it is actually from this fight, which is really funny. Um, when they're, when Jolene is on the ticket taking booth, there is in one of the other, like, uh, I guess building structures, there is a corner that is shaded very similar to it. Uh, it's kind of split between like uh, on an angle, but it, it looks it's probably the closest that we'll see. Uh, so <laughs> close enough. So, yeah. Thank you, uh, Meglos. I hope I'm saying your name right. Cool. Uh, <laughs> you're based. So, so they did. The, they did the research. Uh, they did the research. But yeah, I think this is a very cool action episode. Like, as I said, we don't get Arc. those like C- CQC kind of fights and i know you you won't really get them in uh part seven when that gets animated it's because they're all of those like mainly long range fights yeah so. it's a bunch of silly guys Mid throwing things range. at each other shooting their fingers finger guns and, or throwing mouth, some balls their mouth hooks mouth hooks their dinosaurs uh oh yeah oh yeah oh my god i can't speak oh yeah como va i love how oh yeah como va can just touch things to make little time bombs that's really cool yeah we get uh we get some sound powers Sound man himself, yes. It's the sound man, the sand man, the, aka the sound man. That's his real name. <laughs> yeah, like you don't really get that. You're probably not gonna get a punch until the, probably in the very far into that. So, yeah, the, especially the punch ghosts. We don't really see those in part. Yeah, the part seven is not really a punch ghost part, which is good. Yes, it's good. So. And Johnny can't really do CQC. Not. He's really. not built that way. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, overall, I think it's a very solid three episodes. Surprisingly, like I said. I think this is probably something they had to get right over anything because this is probably the best part of part six. It's like the ending. The part. finale of part when six is past, so good. When you get past Bohemian Rhapsody, like it, it's pretty good from there on. It's, well, at least at least in the anime why because yeah. manga why they don't remember Sky High being great, but I think the anime p- fixed the pacing of that better. Yeah, I feel like I probably enjoyed Sky High better J- overall. The past few arcs, I think I've enjoyed better in the anime. Yeah, which is not something that I say often about JoJo. Yeah. Not many. JoJo's meant to be uh, bad. very few arcs that we said. We mentioned like B.I.G. being a very good anime episode arc. Mm. I feel like most of part two uh, in general is like an improvement, probably. We have to reread that sometime. I did read. I, I, re- I read part one and two. We need to reread part one and two for a spoiler cast episode because I think just two we never did. And, and once we finish part three, we can redo one for that as well. But Yeah. Part two is really good, though. It is very good. But uh, yeah, that's why I'm excited for part nine. But part it could be very related to part two in a way who knows with, oh that's true with, if it descended, that's if, true. he made it very very specific that the son of joseph so that could be some things in it we do josuke again josuke josuke five all right but anything else to say about honestly no oh you know we're gonna get next time next arc though we're gonna get the how the opening changed true i'm hoping that it's the next episode so yeah we are watching that like right after this yes. i'm very excited to finish this we're made in heaven starts yeah maybe next episode but usually they save them for like maybe the last two usually it might be the last two because yeah made in heaven is gonna uh yeah i wonder what we'll see i'm just thinking about like man what are they gonna do for part seven they could do two different ones for those for part seven whenever is that ever gets animated oh for like the fin- the final final like, episode could it ha- could be like two different things it's true they could do a few and things it'd be fucking rad <laughs> oh man 
But, uh, I yeah. fucking love part seven. Yeah. Why is part seven so good? How did he do it? I don't know. What was he cooking? What was he cooking? What, what was he cooking for that, man? Probably some pizza with mozzarella. And whatever that tea that grows your fingernails back. <laughs> oh, no. That was whiskey. <laughs> it's crack. <laughs> it's, it's crack. It actually probably did have cocaine in it. Thinking about the time... <laughs> uh that cocaine was like pretty pretty cocaine. uh used for everything back then oh because they have a stand the cocaine is less affect our system <laughs> i think they might eat because like dr pepper because it's like well, coca cola and dr pepper but i think both probably both had cocaine yeah because it's like them. pep like you're, yeah, you're the, pep in your step the 23 special ingredients or whatever <laughs> well, it what used to be used to be 24 24 no it was 23 they had <laughs> no, to replace co- crack cocaine with something else <laughs> they replaced cocaine with crack <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think oh yeah, overall has been very solid. Every and this is seeing Star Platinum. It was I mean there's like one weird shot of Star Platinum in this. That was like that was kind of weird, but he, I think and there's some shots where he had like very thick outlines, which is very weird to see on like one shot. It looked really good, I thought. Uh oh, one thing I wanted just, to say. Just when you see a different art style, it's it very like surprising. It is a little distracting, <laughs> I would say. The part when Jolene's holding Anna Sui over, um, the way that they like did the shot was really cool i like her arm was kind of like coming apart but they like had her her uh strings like braided like it was like they were wound tighter like a rope i thought that was cool detail mm-hmm. very nice <laughs> good job guys good job. good job david pro good job on your rope your rope animation yeah your the, braid the one rope guy you did your rope research the one rope guy that's like praying and gets no, to animate the was, scenes for mountain tim it was probably that animator who's like who was really into the boy scouts and like oh, learn definitely. everything about ropes and like no we have to get the ropes guys. right mountain tim has to be the best animated character. guys i know it's gonna literally delay the stone ocean part batch to <laughs> a whole the horses, year but the rope animation the rope cg is very important we have to push the whole production back guys i know it's gonna delay the whole year but it gotta be done we need the ropes it must the rope budget all right anything else then? honestly i have nothing else to say uh i i like this bit of episodes um uh, do you want to do a little what? test? Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess we could do the uh, the quest test. The penultimate guess. quest test. If, if, if quest is either A, lunch there with, with Hermes, or a B, just with uh, Anna Sui and... Okay, so one important thing we don't really bring up too often. It doesn't seem like Gwes can make herself get smaller. No. Well, it never... Yeah. We never see her do it, so we're going to assume that she cannot. I guess so, because she never, she probably would have escaped if she could. So we could have had a pocket Jotaro situation. <laughs> oh my! The, yeah, I always think of that stupid Adventure Time thing where, 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 <laughs> Jason. where yeah, Finn has the pocket. Like, what the fuck's in your pocket? Like, it's just Jake. It was he Jotaro. Just farts, he just farts. I know, I love that. <laughs> oh, there's one thing where like Poochie's like flying away in the rocket or a gun to the rocket, and like if he just he heard Star Finger go up and just like <laughs> headshot Poochie would have been very good. He wouldn't have been able to do anything about have it. Have a pocket pocket Jotaro would have been very funny or like. Because you could have had Hermes come back, and they're like, oh, Hermes, how'd you get back? And then she throws no, she, she, fucking Jotaro. She takes Jotaro. top off. Zip off. She's, inside. <laughs> she takes, she's in Hermes' like, like, <laughs> image. She takes Jotaro though. out of her boob pocket. And goes, oh yari, God. yari. <laughs> that would, he's all sweaty and like covered in like weird mucus. Because it's like an open, infected wound. This is like, it's like, this isn't the first time something like this has happened to me. <laughs> yeah, he was once small inside of a... Oh, well, he was inside of a man before, though. He did punch the teeth out of a giant stand. Oh, yeah, he was inside teeth a giant stand. Teeth as hard as a diamond that he fucking How many broke. times has Jotaro been? Oh, no, wait, Jotaro wasn't inside. That was Kakuin and Polnareff. I guess Jotaro's only been bored once that we know of. I mean, he, he got flat. He got, like... He was uh, almost eaten by the melty powers of a white snake. I was like, the, so. ra- the rats almost... Um... It kind of, like, it digested him from the outside, yeah. I mean, it, well, it was, was it Poochie? Was that... No, it was, um... What Manhattan Transfer? What? No, 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 no. I forgot that arc is stupid. Yeah, Manhattan Transfer stand is extremely stupid. Yeah, the bullets. No, it's not even bullets. It's no. his fucking little like CG uh like satellite thing yeah, that can satellite... bounce stuff around. Yeah, the ricochet. The yeah, ricochet the bullets. That's what I try to mean. Yeah, <laughs> the cum room was not his. The ability. cum room seems to be a power of Poochie. <laughs> One of his many powers. Yeah, the, c- <laughs> the power of cum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't use that one anymore. <laughs> um, all right, quest test. So, tiny pocket Jotaro. <laughs> That'd be incredibly base. Or no, she takes off her cap. Pop Jotaro's right there. <laughs> this is a Jotaro. Little pocket Sam, Jotaro. So for uh, the viewing audience at home, uh, Sam did take his uh, beanie off for that. Yes, yeah, so my quest beanie. His and, quest beanie. Yes. And just like you, Jotaro, just waiting there, posing for it. <laughs> it's like uh in, in nightmare before christmas the little guys in the hats yeah he has like his, his voice is like high-pitched like yaddy yaddy <laughs> uh 
Uh, or they could have made a tiny little harpoon. Tiny little harpoon. And it would have it would have just gone nowhere. Full of many other harpoons. It's like like the pin particle, the Ant Man particles, where you can just like, smuggle a bunch. Because we ever do see if she can shrink more than one thing at a time. Uh, true. Or may or just again. We only see one person shrunk at a time. Yes. Uh, but I feel were she... the suits that she you puts the people in were they actually like I well, actually like, taxidermied animals? I I can believe a taxidermy knowing what fucking uh, sports max did to taxidermy. They have a whole taxidermy ward for as a side activity. I believe it. <laughs> and and she has a suit of rat and bird, which is things probably prisoners would fucking try to catch and stuff. Yeah. I can believe that she did this by herself. She seems like a girl that would be great at arts and crafts. It's really funny to just think back to like Mouse Jolene. Uh, and <laughs> Started from here. Yeah, and now she's like fighting God. She's, fight- she's fighting a priest who has a gun. <laughs> but now the gun is in the other hand. <laughs> Hermes. Hermes' hand. She has one magazine. She probably used all the bullets, so. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I th- I th- she- and then Poochie would be defeated because Quest is just unstoppable. Quest is unbreakable. As they say. Ah, uh, yeah, sure that that tracks. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to do anything. Gravity cannot stop shrinkage. <laughs> Emporio kind of can shrink stuff too. He has a weird. He can like, like shrink his stuff in his pocket. He has like the, like the Ramona Flowers purse or backpack <laughs> where he can just like pull shit out and it grows when he pulls it out. They That's have what the she computer said. Fit. Because but, but, um, it grows her, when he pulls. Yes, out. yeah, just like she said. But versus t- sexually assaults Emporio, he's knocked out. He, he he's able to like he, grab them, yeah, and pull them out like a watch, the lighter. And, and he's then, like, "Your stand is like mine." I'm like, "Excuse me." Excuse me. You just pulled out a sh- like, very small objects that he could bring with him and have internet access wherever he goes with it. Yeah, it's so funny. He can just take stuff out of the ghost room. It's very weird. Yeah, it makes me wonder, uh, why is it even a ghost room at all? I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh, all right. Anything else? Should we end it? Can we end it, please? Where am I plugging? Uh, the hole, the Mobius strip. Plug the big Mobius strip the hole. Big, the big Morbius strip, got the it. The Mobius strip. <laughs> like the Mobius strip. All right. Uh, thank you so much for listening to this. If you liked the video, please like it. Comment if you would want any of your thoughts and opinions or trivia facts that we may have missed. Uh, you can also uh, subscribe if you haven't already to get ready because... Uh, part nine in february so get get in here baby uh we're gonna review that every month like we usually used to do all the time uh you also follow the podcast on twitter and be a gym separately and you can also join our discord like we mentioned before where <laughs> where you also can be somehow lucky to be luckily be shouted out on here so and i think if that that is everything correct jim Anything i else? think so all right and with that we will see you on the finale of pisses Part six in slices. Crazy. Pisses. Pisses. <laughs> if Poochie pissed and no, no gravity, would it go up? Yes, probably. Probably go fucking kill that man. Like what if it went in his nose? <laughs> what if we cut to the other bathroom? We always saw the oh, girl. yeah, the women in the bathroom. Instead of cutting the women's room, because in the men's room where the piss fucking splattered a man on a wall. Or the urinal next <laughs> to like, him. He's like, no, I can't get up. He pissed on him. He's fucking end up on the wall on the urinal. But, uh, all right. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye.